Good afternoon, tubers. Matt and Roy back again. Back to you on, let's see, this is the 11th of October 2017. Um, just went down to pick up another load of computers, which I will show you once I get home. I'm actually sitting in traffic right now, so I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to begin the vlog for today. I know, it's late, right? It's quarter to three. Well, I got a late start. Late last night, um, I'd say like, actually, I could say it's even early in the morning, like around 4 a.m., um, I had two cats bugging in, coming in bugging me. First, Baxter came up, went on my hip because I was sleeping on my side and started doing his little kneading thing with claws out. By the way, he needs to get those uh, trimmed down because I could feel them. So that initially woke me up. He jumped off. Then I tried to go back to sleep. And here comes Milo. Comes right up on me. Uh, Milo doesn't need, but Milo kind of hops around like a bunny from one side of the bed to the other. So I'm finally like, okay, right around four, quarter after four, I finally get out of bed, go down and feed him. I wind up staying up for a while because I just, I, I can't go back to sleep at this point. Um, sit, sit down, watch him TV. Then around 8 a.m., I didn't even have a cup of coffee yet. I was just so tired. I went back upstairs, laid down again, slept till about 11, uh, actually 11.30 actually, and got back up and realized I had like five people trying to call me wondering where the heck I've been. And I'm like, dude, people, I'm sorry. I had to go back to sleep. The cat was driving the crap out of me this morning. Suffice to say, I did not exercise today. I wasn't really planning on it anyway because um, I need a, a break, basically. And believe it or not, what I'm going to show you, you'll also see why I'm actually getting my exercise, believe it or not, even though it's not traditional cardio at this point. But um, I wasn't even sure I was going to be able to get to go down here today because of the weather. They were predicting pretty much a washout today, uh, scattered showers all day, 50, 60 percent, and... We've only had a couple little isolated showers, uh, no storms either. They were actually predicting uh, some strong thunderstorms. So luckily they were wrong because I was able to get down here and uh, get this load of computers that I need to, to pick up because I've actually been waiting a little too long to get these. Uh, Mom and Dad should be back in town Thursday or Friday, so tomorrow or Friday. It, they're, they're, they're kind of playing it by ear. They're at my godparents' house in um, Delaware right now having a blast, though. My mother had a, an episode last night. Um, she They went out and ate at this really fancy Italian restaurant up there, and my mother had the fettuccine Alfredo, which she um, immediately regretted. Well, it was actually their version of the Tour Italy, so it was fettuccine Alfredo, uh, chicken parmesan, and lasagna. All stuff that would give you agin. You'll probably see where I'm going with this, right? Well, she got back and tried to go to bed. Wasn't going to happen. Had like what I like to call dragon breath or ma ma major heartburn. And I think she was up till about 2, 3 in the morning. Finally, she took some Mylanta. I just popped another Omeprazole and that was able to get it under control. And she was able to sleep, though. She did sleep in herself this morning. <laughs> it's crazy, though. She's actually been doing very well. She's told me as of late, uh, her heartburn has really uh, pretty much been non-existent. And I attribute that to our diet, basically. I mean, it's really important. Uh, what you eat really affects so many different things in your body. And you really can get um, a lot of uh, ill effects from eating the wrong foods, as she saw last night. Well, I'm going to go ahead and pause this for a few minutes. I don't really have too much else to talk about right now. As soon as I get home, I will show you the computer haul today. Um, you'll be I think you guys will be pretty uh, interested in that, and I will talk to you in a little bit later. Well, what do you know? Just as you get out of one traffic jam, you get into another one. Isn't that always the way? Um, yeah, I had to rearrange the uh, cell phone mount again because uh, the sun is now coming in from this side and it was casting like a shadow on my face and I'm trying to help you guys out a little bit because that's like number one complaint I get is the shadowing effect on my face sometimes but you know what we'll make do with it um one other thing I wanted to let you guys know about um we are planning on another trip here hopefully end of middle end of November we want to take the trailer out um one more time but we need help deciding where to go we want to stay fairly you know, local, let's say. So in other words, we're thinking of either somewhere around Charlottesville area in Virginia, 
um, or maybe into the mountains of like North Carolina, maybe like the um, Shenandoah Mountains, and maybe even West Virginia, but somewhere around like the Virginia, North Carolina, maybe West Virginia region. And um, I'm looking for any and all suggestions. And I know a lot of you guys live in, in my neck of the woods and have probably traveled up there. Um, we've been looking around. We were looking at some campgrounds. There is a KOA um, right outside of Charlottesville in the mountains. Um, that's one possibility. I think we were, I know my dad was looking at a couple places in West Virginia as well, but I need your guys' help. Give me any suggestions. You can leave it in the comments or you can send me a personal message if you prefer. Uh, send me a message through Facebook. Either way, I don't care. But um, we want to take the trail out at least one more time. Probably not going to be a super long trip. We're thinking maybe three or four days, but just something to uh, get us through the long, weary, dreary winter that we're never really going to have here, because that's what they're predicting this year. Even though we're near the coast, man, I tell you, over the past few years, we've had some pretty brutal winters. Um, last year, we didn't have tons of snow, but it was really cold. I mean, I remember days it was in the 20s and teens last year, and for our area, that's uh, very unusual. Usually we stay in the 30s and 40s, even in the uh, the middle of winter, which around here is usually January, February, and into parts of March. But uh, yeah, just let, let me know if you guys have any, uh, any ideas for me, and uh, I tell you what, I'll let you guys know which one we decide. I'm going to pause this for vlog for now, and I'll catch you on the flip side when I get home. All right, tubers, there is something I want to show you here that I just think needs to be said. When you're driving in traffic, especially traffic this slow, under 30 miles an hour, you want to make sure you leave a at least three or four car lengths in front of you, like I am doing right now. If you look at this, the people in front of me, and I wish you'd see the guy behind me, he's even worse. They're leaving a matter of feet in front. When somebody puts their brakes on, if you are not paying attention for that split second, you are going to crash into that person behind you. I just, I don't understand why people don't get that, especially around here. But you see, even now, I'm going about 10 miles an hour. And you see, I am still at least two car lengths behind the person in front of me. That's the way you want to do it. That is going to prevent a lot of accidents in the future for you guys. Just another one of Matt's top tips. All right, tubers, I have to make this short and sweet because it is really hot and my uh, battery is dying. But you can see I picked up a whole bunch more of these Acer monitors. These are model 203HLs. Most of them are that brand. A few of them were a little bit older, like this one over here. This, I think, let's see what model that is. That is a G205H. And then I have a few of the real older ones from, uh, like, 2008, 2009. The ones that had, like, this, like, uh, airplane effect on the front. And these are X203Hs, but I believe they're all about the same resolution. They're all 20 inches. And they're all right around uh, 1600 by 900 resolution. So, say so I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Got about 12 of these monitors. But the big thing I want to show you is right back there all in right, the tubers. Trump. Check this out. I wound up getting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 more of these. Um, Dell Optiplex 390s. I actually got about eight of these last time from the same place. Looking back here, um, they're kind of bare bones right now. They each have about two gigs of memory and a 250 gigabyte hard drive, but they will not have that for long because I am definitely going to be upgrading these. You see, these have um, six USB ports on the back, two on the front, only USB 2.0, but they do have HDMI. NVJ on the motherboard, got your standard array of um, audio ports, uh, you got your mic port, your headphone port, and then your um, multi-use port, or uh, line out port I should say, and then most of these have either GeForce GT 610s or NVIDIA Radeon, e or, I'm sorry, I say uh, ATI Radeon HD 5450s, but they all have HDMI ports in them, so not a bad haul at all for today. Want to show you that before I went inside. Um, that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys are really enjoying these. Please continue to like and subscribe. Hopefully I will save a couple of these and have a special project in the near future. And as always, have a blessed day, everybody. All right, tubers, I'm sitting out here with Donna. Hi. You want to wave hi to everybody? Hi, yeah. We uh, just had a, a dinner, our dinner. We sat inside for a little bit, and then we realized that there was a storm coming, a storm brewing, so we wanted to sit out here 
and kind of enjoy that. I know I said that uh, before that was going to be the end of my vlog, but I just figured I'd show you that yeah, we're just hanging out tonight. It's uh, cooling off nicely, actually, isn't it? Yes. It was really, really humid uh, up until a couple minutes ago, and that's what happens a lot in this area when the storms roll in. The humidity dips. Uh, you would think it would be the opposite, but no, when the storms come in, it actually pushes a lot of that humid air out of the way and brings in the cooler weather. Though, unfortunately, when the storms end, we get the humidity back, right? <laughs> they always... <laughs> That's true. They always come back. Well, I am going to end the vlog here for tonight. We're going to enjoy the rest of our evening. I'll try to get this uploaded, hopefully, this evening. If not, maybe I'll just do it tomorrow. Please continue to remember to like and subscribe. And as always, what do we say? Have a blessed day, everybody.